Climate change is no longer a threat, but a reality. And the reality is what we are faced with right now. So the time to act is now. My name is Olado Suadidike. I'm an eco-feminist, climate justice activist, and an eco-reporter. I'm the founder of I Lead Climate. I saw the Fridays for Future movement growing, and no one is doing that in Africa. So I decided to join Greta Thunberg. She's someone that's really inspired me and the world at large because she's fearless in her action trying to make the whole world to understand the impact of climate change and why we must solve it right now. Digital tools is important for us to see how we can bridge that gap in communicating it to people and that is what I'm using my social media channel to do to champion all of these solutions and every activities I have taken offline, to take it to online for people to understand and to join me. We cannot just wait for our government, individual action matters, collective action matters. So I started and I know that we need to localize that um, a form of activism so that so as to fit our society. So I started going to school to educate students. So I started going to university, to secondary school, public, and trying to educate people about the impact. Because I believe that uh, we, we must first know the problem before we can solve it. Climate change is now the biggest insecurity crisis. Globally, and Africa is not left behind because we are the most impacted by the climate change crisis. So I joined the social media on Twitter, where I started also joining Greta Thunberg. Within a month, she followed me back. And that was how the movement started growing and growing. And also trying to set up a blog to trying to create an African perspective that people can relate with and we can use it to solve different crises in our society because every society has its own perspective. My biggest challenge first is like trying to convince people, you know, try for people to understand. There are some people that is going to deny the fact that climate change doesn't exist. Some people will believe that you are brainwashing them. You know, they have to see the success in it before they get to understand more better why they need to be part of it. I call myself an eco-feminist because women have a very close relationship with their environment. And so, um, due to energy poverty, lack of access to education, to resources, and to water, it affects them. I came to teach them how to apply this fertilizer, an organic fertilizer from Greenwood that could help moisturize their crop, help um, to, for them to have good productivity. So all of these things can help to reduce the um, adverse um, impact of climate change crisis.